guys. What the heck? Oh my goodness. It is what it is. There's a rear tray. What? You can see the difference like really easily. The top, so they are completely destroyed. So I've just got so many just hanging about. Hi everyone, welcome back to another studio vlog. I am really just ah, about the next week and everything. I have put this off for literally so long. Last June or July, last July, I started planning all this stuff. It's been like seven months and I still haven't done anything, like released anything. I've had my Cricut sitting there for two or three months now. I haven't even taken it out of the box. I'm stressed. <laughs> But today is the day. Today is the day we're going to just do it. We're just going to try it all out and hopefully I've hopefully it all works. Hope just hoping. Before I get too much into it, for anyone that's new here, my name is Taylor and I've been running my own handmade business almost seven years. Seven years next week on the 20th of January. For the last seven years, I've been selling hair accessories. I've done uh, jewelry and I've done tie-dye. I've done a few different things over the years, sort of trends and stuff that have come and gone. At the moment, I'm selling hair bows and scrunchies, which is pretty much yeah, my two main products. I really wanted to try something different this year and release something that I really miss doing. I have been really arty my whole life, so I've missed it so much, and I thought we'll just give it a crack and we'll see how we go. Yeah, I'm starting stickers, and I've also got a whole range of items that I'm planning to do. So I've been procrastinating this for a long time, and I started sort of buying bits and pieces. I bought my iPad Pro, the Cricut machine, printer, I bought papers. I've just started collecting different pieces that I would need, and I still haven't opened anything up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought today's the day. I have one week to release everything and get everything set up. I have done a few designs and I mean, I'm still anxious. I'm so anxious. That is such a brilliant word right now. I'm anxious and worried about like how everything's going to go because I haven't really sold anything that I've designed myself before. So this is a big step for me and I'm stressed and anxious about it and I think that's why I've put it off for so long if I'm really worried people won't like it honestly as you'll see later in the video I've got like a lot of different art styles at the moment I haven't found my art style that's one of my goals for the next six months is to find my art style and find what I don't know I like to do what sort of themes I like to do like I've got ones that are super creepy <laughs> and then I've got ones that are cutesy then I've got ones that are motivational I've just I've got a whole bunch of different designs and stickers and I just, I don't know yet, but we're going to release them because I have been doing this for seven months. I've been procrastinating. I am the queen of procrastination. Oh my goodness. This vlog, what we're we doing today. Today, yeah, we're gonna open up the printer, we're gonna open up the Cricut, we're gonna figure out design space, try printing out my stickers, and also, I was going to start a whole new business for this. I was going to call it Rosemary Taylor, and it was gonna be completely separate uh, to Made by Taylor Rose, and I don't wanna just, you know, throw away seven years of hard work to start a new business and try and build that from scratch. I'd rather just incorporate my new products into the stuff I already have. And I hope you guys don't mind because I, I did debate with myself for a very long time. I think it took me like four or five months to decide on whether what to do. And I finally made the decision that I will be keeping Made by Taylor Rose and I'll be just building it from here rather than starting a whole new thing for it. It's just, it's so much easier for me to just, you know, combine it. I just want to grow. I just want to keep doing what I love and I want to keep evolving <laughs> and I can't keep doing the same thing forever. I feel like I want to do something different. Well, you know what? I'm procrastinating right now because I'm rambling on. You know what? We're just going to do it. We're going to open up the Cricut. We're going to open up the printer. So here's where it's been sitting for the last, I don't even know when I bought it. I think I bought it two months ago. 
and this is where the Canon TR8 660 has been sitting. I decided to purchase this printer because all the other printers that were recommended by other sticker businesses in the US, we don't have them here in Australia for some reason or they're just not really available. So this one's a new one. I think it cost me 200 and something, 300? Two? I don't know. It cost me a couple hundred. And this thing, this thing cost me like 600 bucks. I actually didn't get it on sale and then it went on sale the next week. Because like they've been really popular over quarantine. I also bought these with it. I don't think I will really use them. They're just like the vinyls. I'm not really interested in doing vinyl stuff. I just really wanted it for stickers. And I also bought an engraving tip. Because I wanted to do some engraving on maybe acrylic or something. And I thought it would come in handy just in case I wanted to do something else. But yeah, I don't I'm not doing vinyls that's yeah I'm not doing that I want to do like my own my own stuff and I don't yeah this is all my sticker paper oh we also got that there but yeah this is all my sticker paper I purchased I purchased matte I purchased glossy and now I purchased a vinyl one which I think is this one maybe I don't know we'll go through those in a sec too so we've got sticker papers and I bought this. This was actually the first thing I bought and it just, I don't even know. I honestly don't know what these are for that much. I haven't actually watched many videos on Cricut, to be honest. I know that that's like to get, no, maybe that's to get the sticker off, that's to get the sticker off. I know, I've seen people clean their mat with that. And scissors and stuff, yeah. So I bought that. I know you can get them cheaper. I know you can get like stuff from Kmart that does the exact same thing, but I decided to just do that. I'm gonna have trouble getting this out because I had trouble getting it in. So I'm gonna stick this down here. Oh, okay, it was a lot easier to get out of that little hole than it was to put in it. Okay, we're gonna open it. <laughs> Let's, I'll take you over there. We're going off to a really bad start. I can't even get the stick tape off. So yeah, I wasn't expecting the box to be so big. I wasn't even expecting this thing to be so big. Okay, oh, should I, should I move you? Should I, it says, let's get started on here. Oh, that's so heavy. Ooh, materials for your first project. Open me, oh, this is so cool, guys. What the heck? Open me first. Unleash your beauty. Plug in and power up your fabulous new Cricut machine. Get connected. Just go to cricut.com setup, make a little something, bookmark this page. Okay, that's really fancy. I wasn't expecting that fabric. That feels like cardstock. They're both cardstock. Got the warranty. Apparently I would definitely need this. <laughs> We've got a blade. We've got a book. Oh, there's more. Okay, so that's to connect the pen cap. All right, we're just gonna move this stuff. <gasps> God, it's so heavy. Oh, we got match. A bit bent. We've got fabric grip mat. I actually was expecting these to be like a lot thicker, these mats. Anyway, this is light grip mat. And I'm assuming that I don't need anything other than light grip for my stickers. Too bad if that's not the case because I haven't purchased another mat. Okay, let's have a look at it. Oh, so shiny and new. God, it's so heavy. I wasn't expecting it to be so heavy. It's really heavy. Also, I'm really weak. That mat doesn't help. Okay. Oh, oh, that that comes up. Ooh. <laughs> Whoops. This is what I just made. First cut print thing. So, all right. Now I'm going to get on my iPad and organize it so it can... Because at the moment they're just in a CYMK file, but they're just in the middle. Like there's no... that I haven't like arranged them or anything or saved them as a particular like PNG or anything. So I have to go do that. I'll definitely have to find a spot for the cricket. Now, <laughs> hello. Over here is where I wanted to put it, but I don't know if I'll be able to because... You need 10, oh god that's really dark, you need 10 inches behind it and that's a lot of inches so I, I like had to put it right at the back of this like there's exactly 10 from here to there to put that there so 
Mm. I'm gonna have to measure some stuff up and make sure that it will fit there because that was my plan. I moved everything around for it to fit there. Okay, now it's time to open my printer, which I still haven't done yet. I've sort of, I think I did it right on Design Space to print out a sticker. We will find out when we test it on my new printer. Oh, so this is the printer I got. I'm gonna get some scissors. cartridges just lying in there too so I've got double ink cartridges I think cool all right okay <laughs> God, this is so heavy peel all this off Ooh, fancy. Okay. I probably should have got one that goes like straight through rather than one that goes up, but oh well. It is what it is. And pull this, I don't know. <laughs> okay, we're gonna read the instructions because I have no idea. So I just found out it's touch screen. Doesn't sound very healthy. I don't really know what it's doing right now. I haven't even put the inks in yet. These are the inks. There's five of them. Start print setup. Continue with setup by referencing the manual. Pretty, pretty nifty. And I like how this stays up by itself. Yeah, you can see that. It's just, just chilling there. Take off full. Okay. And I'm guessing you take this cap thing off. No? I don't know. Now, now I'm second guessing myself. I don't you do. Take the cap off. Okay, yellow's in. It even tells me that it's in. That's really cool. While that's doing alignment testing, I have to show you guys something. Some stuff out of the way. But I've purchased a new addition to the craft room, which is a bean bag. It is the comfiest thing ever and greatest purchase of 2021 so far. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty nifty. Pretty much all you got to do is, I did put a lot of beans in it. It's actually got way too many, but I can't be bothered taking any more out. I took already out like half a bag. Said needed three bean things from Kmart. Definitely didn't, it lies. So, that's just moved. So I've got, you know, something to lay on, something to sit on. It's actually not too bad. I'm gonna do it this way. Like that. There we go, all set up. And that, I also put this on here. I had to move it like an inch this away. So then it will be 10 inches behind. But I'm still have to, might have to move it a little bit further. So, yeah. Now we're going to test it out. Now, I've got three different pieces of paper here. I'll take them over here. All right. So, I got clear as well. Okay. So I just got like a few test pieces because I didn't know what was going to work and what was not going to work. I got a clear one, high gloss, low gloss. And they're all from the same color. This one was the matte. So the, oh, this is the vinyl. Oh yeah, it says there. So this is good. I like how they put the sticker on it so you know what it is. So I got the matte vinyl paper from Ink Ghost. So that's who that's from. Which I think that's probably the one I'm gonna be using. But yeah, we've got low gloss, clear, high gloss, and they came from, I have no idea. They didn't put any sort of packaging with it. I'll be able to find out on my thing, but. So we got those. And then that also has no no nothing. It's got nothing. I'm guessing this is the I don't know. Gloss. I can't remember what I ordered now. Like it's definitely glossy. I don't I really like the feel of that one though. 
This paper is a lot better quality, whatever this is, wherever this is from, with a lot better quality than whatever this is. So we've got those clear. I won't bother with clear yet. I reckon I'll use the low gloss to print out the stickers first. Just because I know that high, like the high stuff will probably smudge uh, with what I want to do right now. So I probably should have let it dry because like, yeah. Oops. Oh well. Okay, that turned out better than I expected. They're not bad, but I really should have let them dry before trying this out. But here they are. Do you use this? Or do you use this? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch some more tutorials and get back to that. So apparently you bend it, bend the mat. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that was, ah, no, not there. Come there, oh, Fruit Loops. Yeah. Okay, so they turned out all right, but they're pretty thin. So I was gonna maybe put like a laminate over the top, and I think I'll do that. But I'm gonna try out all the rest of the paper first. So I will <laughs> let these dry, because I just touched one before and it smudged everywhere. So I'll lay these all out. I'll let them dry and hopefully they'll turn out okay. And I'll go get started on all the other pieces that I have and try out all this different paper. So I'm gonna try out the high gloss one. So that's what that looks like. Oh yeah, you can see it's sort of glossy on it. And I'll go check this in the printer now. So a really cool thing about this new printer is I don't have to have it connected. I can just be sent straight over. Whereas with this one up here, it has to be connected. So I'm really excited about um, being able to wirelessly send this over without having to move. Obviously I have to go connect it to the maker now, but that's really cool. I like that. So far the printer, I don't like how it's not top feed, like so it doesn't go straight round. Um, it's the same as this one that I have here, which is the Canon MG3660, which I use for printing out all my invoices and stuff. I don't particularly like that for stickers. I thought it was a top feed one when I bought it, but I was obviously wrong and got confused with something else, but that's okay. The actual printer prints out really good. Let's go have a look at what this one printed out like. So yeah, they look alright from back there, but I can notice that there's like lines through the pe through the actual image. Hmm, I don't know. Might have to do some troubleshooting with that one. So I'm thinking, I just did like a nozzle test for the printer. It looks really good on normal paper. So maybe what's going on is because it's printing on normal A4 paper and I'm printing on gloss, maybe it's slipping. So I've just had a look, it says something about use system dialogue. So I'm gonna try again. I might actually do, do up another design, uh, maybe my butterflies or something, and then try. So this is what I mean with uh, how different my designs are. So these two are my favorite out of everything I've done. So I've, I haven't done many, I've only done like 10 different designs or something. Probably not even that. There's really not that many. Um, I need to work. I'm working on them this week to get a heap of designs made. Um, so yeah, these ones are, you know, ones I really like, but I don't think anyone else will like them because they're weird. <laughs> so that's why I kind of made a few that I also like them. I like the designs I did and like the colors and stuff like these ones, the perfectly imperfect ones with the rainbow. Obviously I know rainbows are really popular at the moment. These are really, oh. I bent that too far. 
Yeah. So, no. So, I really like these. Yeah. So, I think these are really cute, but they're just very different to, to my creepy mushroom dude and my, um, I don't even know what you'd call that. <laughs> so, I don't know. I will get my art style eventually. I just need to keep practicing and keep doing stuff. Okay, so I've clicked that and now I can use all here, so that's good. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is like super gloss paper. So maybe photo paper glossy. We'll give that a crack and we'll see what happens. There's a rear tray. I'm confused as right now. This is... Oh, what's this? Wait, what? Is that what? Is that what that is? Low paper in the rear tray enclose the feed slot cover. Is that what that means? I'm so confused right now. I'm gonna read the instructions. Okay. I'm feeling really stupid right now. I knew the bloody thing had a rear paper feeder. Oh, you can't even see it from this side. See? Okay, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> okay, so yes, I'm feeling really dumb right now because I knew it had a rear um, feeding tray I because that, that's why I wanted it I wanted the rear feeding tray and it did I just didn't find it straight away because it's actually at the back of the booklet about the rear one but I just printed this one and it's turned out perfect there's literally no lines through at all and all the ink has come out really good on the other one there was actually like ink clusters like it was um you could see, you'd see like where it was printed Whereas this, it's come out perfect. This is also the random lot of uh, glossy that I got. So this is like the one I didn't like, the photo paper I didn't like um, out of a lot of them. But I thought I'd test it out anyway. But yeah, I'm really happy with the print quality now. <laughs> I'm glad I figured that out now and not like down the track. So now we're just gonna try these ones out. But yeah, I'm pretty certain I won't be using this paper unless I laminate them which is what I'm going to be also doing I'm going to try laminating some um, but that's yeah that's after I'm just at the moment doing um, all the papers first and the next lot I'll be doing is vinyl and I don't think I'll do clear because I don't really have stickers that would go well on clear so I'll probably have to maybe let stuff dry before I start printing them um, cutting them because yeah currently the last two that I've cut have like big lines through them I don't know if you can see if it's like here nope here it's big like line which will be like from it not drying properly and I'm really happy with the colors except they are different to what I thought they were going to be even though I use CMYK, hmm, I don't know why that is. If you know, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> but um, yeah, because that's meant to be pink, not purple, and the Just Peach is meant to be completely black. But the Stay Humble one, that's like perfect. I really like the colours on that one. So yeah, well, I suppose we'll do that. I'm gonna take all these off and then we're gonna try the vinyl one, the printable vinyl and see how that goes. I'm really keen to see how that goes actually. And then I'll be using my laminator, which I've, <laughs> I haven't used since I did screen printing and that was like one year into my business, maybe 2015. So I haven't used my laminator in so long, but I still have a heap of laminating sheets. So I'm certain of it. I wouldn't have thrown that out because I've still got my laminator sitting on top of my other printer. So I want to try laminating the stickers and I've watched, um, I can't remember her name but I watched another tutorial on it. They put both sticker papers like back to back and then laminated. So yeah, that'll be really cool. Anyway, I'll start with this. <laughs> I've just printed on the vinyl and already there's like no smudge at all 
that's good and it's turned out really nice the quality but now that I've realized the printing set printing the printer settings I'm gonna have to go back and use the low gloss and high gloss again just to see what they turn out like but I mean this vinyl turned out really nice so I've just got the vinyl out of the Cricut and it's like done this. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, see that? So that's not good. Um, I'll have to maybe do a little bit more research and find maybe I have to use it on a different setting, not just sticker. I was just using just sticker paper setting. Mm. This is the first one that really all my stickers didn't turn out very good. And this is the most expensive paper, so that's not good. Like, they mostly cut through, they just sort of ripped the paper in places. Yeah, so you can see it's like got little jagged edges. I'll see how many of these are salvageable. But they turned out nice though, the quality. So I've got my laminator out, uh, it was from up there, it was a little bit dusty. And I found some pouches, so I'm going to put this one and this one in. I've only just printed this one out so it's a little bit wet still. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. Now, I haven't used a laminator in a very, very long time. So, I have no idea if um, you meant to do it on cold or medium or the high one. And I haven't Googled it, so we're just gonna chuck her in. I don't know if this is going to burn the paper, I have no idea. I do hear some burning and I don't know why. <laughs> so that's what they've turned out like. I'm going to turn this off now. I'll just put it on cold. Cool it down. Alright. Now what I was going to do is just like cut the sides off. I also want a bit crinkly at the end which doesn't really matter because I haven't got anything at the end anyway because I don't utilize the space. I don't know, if, can you use that? I don't know. Beautiful, all right. That's done. Now I'm going to figure out what setting to use this on in the Cricut. So here's a side-by-side -side of the exact same paper. I'm pretty sure, yep. So the, this is the exact same paper, high gloss, and one of them I've done, I've put it in as high gloss and the other one I put it in as plain paper. This one is the high gloss paper and look how just horrible that looks and this is the plain paper. So I'm going to have to do some more trials because that is such a massive difference in quality. Like that's just faded and gross looking and this is just so crisp except it still has lines through it. Not many. Actually, I think it's more drying off now. So they still look really like so much better than these. So I've just gone to Officeworks and I wanted to try and get some new laminating paper and I want to also try contact paper. So this is what I've got. The men at Officeworks recommended this one. I had a look at the color of them, like opened them up, had a look. And it was very similar to the ones I already had. But in saying that, now that I've just figured out that when I use high gloss, it dulls the pictures. That may be why all my pictures look very dull with the laminate because that's just how they were printed. So that's an example. You can't even tell that it's not that bad on here, but in real life, the laminate one is very, very dull in color and this one's really bright. Um, obviously the laminate does look a lot better and it feels a lot better so I'll definitely be doing something like that laminate or contact. This one um, I'll try out first and if I like this I'll return this one because this one was pretty expensive. This one was 25 uh, but it was a pack of 100 whereas this one for the 25, uh, sorry, this one is a pack of 25 for $6 but they they sell packs of 100 for 15 but I didn't want to get the pack of 100 just in case this was no good. So I'll give this a go with the really uh, bright um, bright ones of these I just printed out. And I also got this contact, so it's just adhesive book covering. This was 99 cents, so it was really cheap from Offsworks. And I'll want to give that a go and just see how it goes. 
So I've currently got my laminator on and we will put these in and see how they go. I might do back to back because I've got too dull and too bright. I was playing around with settings. Um, I didn't know it was the gloss versus plain until like the third or fourth go. So I wanted to just make sure um, what I was doing. Yeah, I was, had to trial and error. Lots of trial and error today. And also I figured out what this thing means. So that means how, how thick or something the plastic is. So yeah, using AT, which is the middle one that I used before, is the way to go. And by looking, it doesn't look very clear. I might actually just try it on one of the little photos that I've or little stickers I've already done. It doesn't look very good. It sort of looks grainy. See how it's like, I don't know if you can tell. It's grainy as. I think, I think laminating is the way to go. So I just thought I'd print out these ones again. So this is the difference. Like there's just so much difference between those colors. So this one here is the one where it's what colors it's meant to be. And this one's the one where it's like all, all out of whack. These ones didn't turn out too bad, the Stay Humble ones on this side. But like, I mean, the Just Peachy is really like dull. Uh, the black is very dull. And then these ones are purple and they're not even meant to be purple. Doesn't look as bad on camera, but it's just, it's awful. Okay, so as you can probably hear, the cricket is going off in the background. I've done so many trials today. I have tried out the high gloss. The glossy, the low gloss, the, I had a matte one as well. I tried out, I tried out the vinyl, I tried out laminate and I tried out the contact as well. So I tried out a whole bunch of them and I've also tried out all the printer settings. I still need to figure out if I can maybe possibly do maybe a gloss or even like a luster gloss and still keep that really colorful uh, design. So I'm really happy with how everything turned out. I still need to do clear trials, so I have here, I have the clear packet, uh, which I still need to open up and do, but I didn't really have any designs I kind of wanted to do clear with at the moment. So, all up, I have no idea how many stickers I've made, quite a few, I think I printed out about 20 pages worth, but here is a massive pile of the trial stickers, so there is plenty here quite a few so i'll probably sell those next week so my, i've decided my release date is going to be the 21st of january worldwide but i'm still not certain if i want to ship untracked yet uh with everything going on in the us usually i do ship untracked in mail form and that only costs a couple dollars like um four dollars five dollars aud Currently, all I'm doing is sending tracked parcels because you can't send tracked letters overseas if you're selling anything but documents. Now that I'm looking at these, this could maybe be considered documents. <laughs> um, maybe I'll have to have a look at that, see if it says documents or paper because uh, these might be able to actually go over there in a tracked envelope. But anyway, um, if you are from overseas and you do want to buy stickers or scrunchies for even that matter, um, please comment below if you wouldn't mind paying for non-tracked envelope shipping. Just keep in mind that the non-tracked, I have no idea how long it's going to take. It could take two to three months uh, because I'm pretty sure they're going C at the moment by C mail. Whereas tracked parcels are arriving around the two to four week mark. And obviously you have tracking and peace of mind with that. I don't know, if I get enough interest in it and if people understand that it won't be straight away, like it will take months to arrive, I think I would open it back up. The stickers that you've seen today, they are just some that I've been playing around with. There's what, like six or seven designs, like there's not many here. I'm gonna spend like the next couple of days just designing new stickers. As I was saying, next week, stick release, I'll be posting all these trial stickers. I'll be doing like little packs. I might even give some away in like the orders as well. I'm hoping to have at least 25 stickers available next week. As you can probably tell, I'm a lot less anxious and a lot less 
stressed now. Oh, and I still need to test if they're waterproof. So that's tomorrow's job. It's not the end of the vlog yet, I suppose, because I'll be doing more trials tomorrow. So it's gonna be, this video is gonna be so long. I'm so sorry already. But yeah, I'll be doing another vlog, not next week, because that's when I will be releasing the stickers. So like two weeks from now, I will be doing another sticker vlog which I'll be packaging all my stickers that I sell, if I sell any, that is. <laughs> or I'll just be showing you how I will be packaging them when I do sell them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I really don't know how they're gonna go. I don't know if anyone will like them. I don't know if people will like my designs. But yeah, I've had a successful day in trials and I'm really happy with it. So I'm gonna go now. I'll see you guys tomorrow when we'll be working out the clear, clear stickers. I'll try the vinyl on um, vinyl and laminate and I'll try the waterproofing as well and I'll be trying out my printers and I'll try doing it without I'll just try on pages or something and test on I don't know some other piece of paper just like plain paper or something and see what colors they come out just by using the printer settings in uh, pages off a Mac and see if it's changed rather than wasting my glossy paper and my ink <laughs> trying to figure out what the heck's going on Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Hello, it's a new day. I have been up and trying to figure out this printer and I still haven't conquered it yet. So the plain paper like works perfect. Um, the setting, it comes out vibrant and exactly how I want it. And then all the glossy ones, so glossy 2, uh, luster, um, semi-gloss, crystal and the glossy photo paper all come out dull and just look really good horrible so i've emailed canon and we'll see what they say and i've tried googling it but it's very it's a very odd question and it's really hard to find any answers to come up with a heap of different things but nothing that was even similar to what i'm looking for so yeah hopefully you'll be able to tell so that's the plain paper um plain paper a setting I just did this on plain paper, on just normal A4, uh, so I didn't have to waste all my glossy papers. But yeah, you can easily tell the difference <laughs> between all these. So yeah, that was the one I was using, the glossy two. And I've got obviously these as well. And like I chose this image to do because you can see the difference like really easily because of that green. Like this one doesn't look too bad because like it's green but it still looks dull but this one's it's just too gray so yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try the vinyl and print that out because i've googled a bit more about vinyl now and it says that it's water resistant so i'll try the vinyl i thought it was water resistant like but i hadn't actually I didn't actually know for sure. Um, I just had purchased it because that's why I heard people were using printable printable vinyl, but it is so expensive as well. Um, these actually can peel off pretty easily, which I think is what people like, um, removable ones. But yeah, they can be peeled off and then put back on. Don't know what I'm gonna do about the glossy prints i think i'm just gonna have to print print on plain paper setting uh for now until i figure out what's going on because i don't want the colors to be all yuck so if anyone does know what is going on with my printer and why it's printing out different colors uh when it's different media please let me know because <laughs> it's so frustrating i just want to print on glossy because obviously it doesn't have doesn't have any lines through it. My printout on glossy. I might just do an RGB print uh, from my iPad now and see what happens. I might just see if it if it does make any difference. So I've just done the test and nah. <laughs> so this sign is on the gloss paper, gloss setting um, with RGB and CMYK. So different format files, uh, both the same dull image um, and I use the exact same colors for both and then the plain paper obviously came out the bright and the correct color I'm just doing the one piece of vinyl and I've put on the back just a plain piece of paper so then it doesn't get stuck um, to the back side of the vinyl so 
sort of got lines all through it now. Because it is pretty shocking. So I've kind of just thought about it and the paper that I'm using, the clear clear paper, it's got like a yellow uh, backing and I don't really like that at all. So if I was to do clear ones, I'll definitely try and find someone else that does better backings, I suppose, like white. Oh, here comes out my... Ooh. Okay. That did not go well, um, at all. Some of the colors turned out really good and then like the darker ones didn't. All right, back to the drawing board. So I printed it with glossy this time, glossy two. And I mean, it's not really that much better. Or I suppose it is, like, look at the lines. But I don't think, I don't know if the Cricut's going to pick it up because of how smudged. I've already, I've already knocked it. Oh my God. So yeah, I'm going to have to let this dry, like, for a while before even attempting that. Um, in the meantime, I'll try again. <laughs> but this time I'm going to print on a white back background and then put a clear coat of this sticker paper over and see how it goes so yeah this is like real wonky now Oops. there we go it's really actually not on there right So I really don't like the clear paper. It's very flimsy. It's not very good. I wouldn't recommend whoever I bought that off. I wouldn't recommend this paper. It's very, very thin. These are super cute, the little free gift ones, which just have the clear sticker over the top, but they are a bit more flimsy than uh, the ones that have the laminate. So I still think the laminate's winning for me. Now I guess we're up to think if they're waterproof or water resistant at least. So I've got... These are the vinyl ones with the laminate. These ones are the, that's the glossy, that's the high gloss and that's the low gloss with laminate. And then we've just got them without laminate. So that one would be glossy. Then we've got the vinyl. And then one of these is low gloss and one of these is high gloss. So we've got a couple of different bits and pieces here. So these are just glossy ones and so that one's already bleeding. These will probably all bleed because they don't have anything over the top and they're not vinyl. I can already see on this one, it's like um, around the corners, around the edges. It's already like starting to seep in. I'm actually really surprised that like the vinyl is actually, it's pretty waterproof. Like I'm rubbing that right now and it's not coming off at all. And yeah, but all these other ones are sort of seeping in so i've let them sit for about two hours now and as you can see these ones here are the ones that didn't have any sort of clear contact or laminate over the top so they are completely destroyed these ones aren't very good that one yeah not too bad um then we got the vinyl the vinyl i probably just because i touched that one whoopsie the vinyl's not too bad either that's like, yeah, pretty waterproof. I'm pre really happy with the vinyl. Um, these are just the laminate ones. I actually kind of like how that looks, but yeah, no, you don't want that. And yeah, that's not looking very good either. That's just trash. <laughs> so that's uh, laminate as well. Um, these are the ones with the clear stickers over the top. So they're no good. Um, these are the vinyl and laminate. So these are the ones that turned out the best. But you can still kind of see where it's kind of got underneath the laminate and got wet. I wonder what they'll look like dry though, once they dry out. Yeah, these definitely turned out the best out of the whole lot. So, looks like I'll be going with laminate and vinyl. 
for my final stickers. Depending on how these sort of turn out, I might market them as water resistant rather than waterproof um, and probably not dishwasher safe. I guess that's it for this vlog. It's super long, I'm so sorry. But hopefully you enjoyed going through my journey in trying to find what's best to make stickers from, from the materials I use. So to reiterate, I thought that the Ink Ghost matte vinyl sticker was the best. It didn't bleed at all, even when it, when it was submerged in water for two hours. So yeah, I definitely really like this and I think the, the backing is really nice as well. It says professional label sticker on the back rather than something that's yellow. It looks a lot more professional. And then as for the pouches, I think I will keep the more expensive pouches I purchased and I'll try those out as well and see how they go. I'm gonna go back to designing more stickers. So I've got so many here. Show you guys. I've just got so many just hanging about. I need to design heap more stickers because I currently, I do not have that many. I think I've got seven or eight different design and work out all my packaging and stuff but that's for next week's no not next week in two weeks time i'll be doing a packaging vlog for my stickers if you have any questions or comments or anything you'd like to any input you'd like to have just let me know um say comment below or whatnot make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more vlogs and business tips and whatnot thank you for coming along with this journey of opening my cricket opening my printer, testing everything out and testing all the sticker papers. It's been a long one. <laughs> I'm gonna keep rambling if I keep going, so bye.